What we're looking at right here is uh, Sky Eye and Timmy Rose out over uh, this major crash and a uh, major backup out on uh, the East Freeway inbound at the East Beltway. And gosh, you can see it there. Okay, this is a really good look of it. The, fest, the first and best look I've had of it live from Sky Eye. You can see the uh, material there kind of spilled out in the middle of the road. But what's stark and kind of shocking about this is that 18 wheeler there up on its side and want to check in with uh, Sky Eyes Tammy Rose. Tammy, if you can hear me, I know you're just getting back over this scene and uh, that's a, a pretty big one we're looking at here on the East Freeway inbound. Yeah, Jonathan, a huge mess to clean up. This has been sitting here since 3.30 this morning, an overturned 18-wheeler. Uh, you can see the heavy-duty wreckers on scene. Of course, they have to unload whatever is in that uh, box, usually to upright it and then get that cab out of there as well. So all main lanes of the East Freeway are closed uh, just east or just west of the belt. So you can see the delays if you're coming in from Channel View or Baytown. Uh, one of your best alternate routes would be US 90. You can also take 146 to 225 because I'm going to show you where people are exiting right now the belt. We're having major backups there as well southbound on the belt. So you might want to start thinking about another alternate route uh, such as 146 to 225 or US 90. Our desk uh, is making a call into TxDOT to see if we can get a better and accurate uh, description of when exactly they're going to have this mess cleaned up. But Jonathan, you know, definitely plan ahead because uh, it looks like it's going to be quite some time before they clean this mess up. Uh, again, the heavy duty tr tow trucks are on scene right now getting ready to upright that. But what a huge uh, mess with huge delays on the East Freeway. It's Timmy Rose reporting there in Sky Eye. Timmy, any indication uh, just kind of what that material is? I don't know that it matters, frankly, as we're looking at the backup right here, but any indication kind of what's going on with the truck specifically? And it doesn't look like, like a huge spill right there, but obviously sort of a lot to sort out. Yeah, I mean, you can see a little bit of debris there at the top of your screen, but, you know, another factor in it is we don't know what's inside the truck, so they might have to uh, perhaps take some of it out. Sometimes they do that before they upright it, uh, so no word on what is inside uh, the 18-wheeler, um, but it looks like right now perhaps they're trying to maybe get the cab off first. Um, you can see three two trucks uh, on scene, and uh, the cab badly uh, damaged there. I'm not sure if another vehicle was involved in this accident. Let me zoom out here. We do see a couple other uh, vehicles here up front. Um, so whenever we have an overturned semi like this, you know, it, it does take quite some time to get it out of here because again, they sometimes have to unload what's in the trailer uh, and then get it uprighted. Yeah, you get a look at the uh, backup right there. Timmy, if I have this right, it looks like there's sort of a backup in a couple of different directions. Yeah, so right now you're looking at the East Freeway that is approaching the belt heading westbound. So basically because they're diverting traffic off to the belt, this is one of your alternate routes is the belt southbound, but you can see that's getting backed up as well uh, as you head towards 225. So you might want to take 146 to 225 or US 90. Those are just some other uh, alternate routes that you can take because again, you know, whenever you have a main freeway shut down, uh, it spills onto other freeways, which is going to be the East Belt. It's Tammy Rose reporting there in Sky Eye, and we will check back in with Tammy in just a little bit and stay on top of this uh, for y'all as uh, things continue to change. Tammy, thanks so much. And again, you get a look at the uh, map there to just sort of give you a better idea, right? Uh, coming in from uh, Baytown and certainly just going through my notes here. One second. Again, the uh, East Freeway inbound at the East Beltway. So uh, we will uh, monitor that, as we said, and um, check back in in just a little bit.